cancer. When I was five years old, I was diagnosed with a juvenile pilocytic astrocytoma, which is a slow-growing, inoperable brain tumor in my optic chiasm. That's a lot of big words for someone who had just learned to write her own name, so we just called it Stinky. Within a month, I went through brain surgery and began my first two years of chemotherapy. I have had my share of six surgeries, 48 months of chemotherapy, 30 MRIs, 16 blood transfusions, and countless blood draws. When it was all over, I went back to life as I knew it, dancing two plus hours a week. We began actually live, to live life and enjoy life again. And then, about a year later, Stinky began to grow again. That meant another two years of chemo and going back to life, working through the pain as I danced and rode my horse. Fast forwarding to today, I've been off treatment for two years and I'm living the typical life of a middle school kid. I take horseback riding. or I couldn't do all the things in my PE class, but I never gave up. Throughout my journey with cancer, there have been many shining stars to brighten the, up the darkness. One of these stars is the American Cancer Society's Camp You Can Do. In 2006, Suzanne Parolic, I know her as Chipper, and Sue Stark, I know her as Fargo, encouraged me to join this week-long camp for children fighting cancer. At the time, I was on chemo and scared to be away from home and my mom. They were very persistent and assured me they would take extremely good care of me. So in the end, I decided if I was brave enough to face cancer, I was brave enough to, brave to face the wilderness for one week. It was one of the best decisions I have made yet. The first thing I remember when I arrived was Chipper greeting me and giving me a stuffed cap to ease my fear. The first day of camp brings something else to each camper, a nickname. Mine is KP, Caitlin Possible, because at the time, Kim Possible, the crime-fighting cheerleader, was my hero. I was now KP, the, camp the camper, not Caitlin, the little girl with cancer. This week, I was just like everyone else. Over the next week, we did it all, from campfires to rock walls, from archery to dancing the night away. I remember my first year, I read some book about great, uh, about great archers, so of course I had to try archery. At first I was horrible, but I stuck with it and eventually I hit the bullseye. Now it's my favorite each year. Another favorite of, of my camp experiences is the dance. Each year there is a theme for the Thursday night dance. The themes have been superheroes, pirates, fiesta, and jungle. My third year of camp was the year I overcame my fear of heights. I was so deathly afraid of when it came to climbing the rock wall, there was no way my feet were leaving the ground. After a bit of convincing and a lot of support from my friends and counselors, I was able to try it. Although I didn't reach the top that time, I found a new love for rock climbing. In 2009, when, camp, when the camp moved to the Camp Collins site, I was introduced to the biggest rock wall I have ever seen. With my fear of heights long gone, I climbed the rock wall all the way to the top, and on the last day, I climbed it again for the news. My stays at Camp You Can Do over the past four years have been some of the brightest and happiest times of my life. I can just be me and do what I want to do at my pace, <clears throat> without anyone judging me because they all understand what I've gone through which is reassures you that you can do it. That's why it's so important to kids like me to just have fun and not worry when the next blood draw is coming. Last month, a routine MRI found that my tumor, tumor has slowly been growing yet again. For now, the growth is slow. We just have to continue with our lives and wait and see what happens. But while my medical future is uncertain, one thing I do know is Camp You Can Do will be the highlight of my life again this summer. Thank you for your support.
for Caitlin's 12th birthday. <laughs> being a parent of a, any child, but you have additional uh, responsibilities and stress that's forced upon you, um, from telling your child she has cancer to handling life-threatening medical emergencies. But just like Caitlin, Camp You Can Do is a highlight of my life each year as it gives me reprieve from the daily responsibilities of taking care of a child with cancer. And it's putting her in the hands of people who are compassionate and are medically trained to take care of her so that you know she's in good hands. The first year Caitlin went to camp, she was on chemo. And I wasn't sure I was ready to let go and let somebody else take care of my child. But Suzanne Parola and Sue Stark were convincing, and so off to camp, Caitlin went. A week later, I picked her up, and she was glowing. She was happy. She had had a wonderful time and had wonderful stories, and she couldn't wait to go back the following year. And then we were thrilled when we got the camp ca uh, calendar that had her smiling face on the month of April, which happened to be the month that is her birthday. The CDs with the photos and the slideshow just captures the special moments of the week and really is a wonderful keepsake for these children that they look back to over the years. So all in all, I can't say enough about what Camp You Can Do has done for us as a family. It gives us a week where Caitlin can go and be with other kids who have fought the fight and have won and are continuing the fight and will win again. Um, and it gives me time to, uh, gives me a reprieve and it gives me time to take care of myself. So it's wonderful and I thank you for your support.